Guess what? It's April, and it's time for your tarot reading. I'm sorry I lost my voice. That's why they're a little bit late, and that's also why it sounds like shit, but let's get started. Hi, Cancer. So, April. Okay, April, what's going on with your social life and emotional well-being? And they're like, this is totally a month to be very, very social and to not be deep within yourself. All of this like in your little crab shell, hermit type energy, it's exact opposite for you. And they're saying this might mean um, changing things up from your typical routine. And honestly, I think in my experience, most cancers, I mean, you do require that, but you're not necessarily antisocial or anything like that. Um, what they're saying, though, is this month is definitely um, intended for you to take actions, to go outside, to, you know, be around other people, try new things, be adventurous, um, stuff like that. So, um, what's weakening your spirit this month? What might be kind of challenging for you? And they're saying finding that confidence. So you might experience some social awkwardness and things like that, but that's totally normal and it's totally okay. They say everything is um, exactly as it's supposed to be. This is a month for fun. This is a month for new adventure. And the details of that are going to vary from person to person, but the details aren't important. They're just saying this will somehow benefit you for your long-term future goals um, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. Uh, but the problem here is that some of you aren't thinking necessarily about what it is that you desire and what it is that you want. And so, Klaus. And so, the issue might be then that um, you could manifest some situations for your longer term. If you're not spending time having fun, going out, um, doing these kind of things that are unfavorable or not aligned with what it is you desire. So really start thinking about what it is that you want and focus on that and then take appropriate action and use other people to kind of help you out. Um, ask their opinions. Ask them to help you with things. No, what can you do to best, best support yourself this month? And they say that, um, I'm so sorry about the cat. <laughs> He's so naughty. I think there's actually maybe two of them under. Nope, yep. There, can you see? They're fighting. Cat fight. <laughs> but anyway, what they're saying here that, is that this month, um, you know, deeply connecting to others isn't necessarily the goal or what you want to do. This is more about like surface kind of stuff. Just what seems fun in the moment and not overthinking things. Not, um, you know, it's good that you're always there for your friends. That's a character trait that cancers have. But this is not the month to overextend in that regard, okay? I'm so sorry about my little kitties. Um, what's going on for your career in April? And they're saying things don't change overnight. They're not going to happen quickly for you. Um, and this is just because you've got some sort of a career and money block. You might be pushing away opportunities. And it's not like you don't see them, but somehow you're resisting them. Or you might be resisting like a greater flow of money to you. And you want to be open to receive that. So that might mean putting a tip jar out. Maybe you didn't have one of those before. Um, that might mean... You know, when somebody says, hey, let me give this to you or let me pay for this lunch, that instead of going, no, 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 um, you say, oh, okay, thank you. That'd be wonderful. Um, thank you. That's so generous. That kind of a thing. That You've got some sort of block here. And it's not something that intuitively makes sense. You're going to have to do kind of like a deeper dive. Some of you might know straight out the gate because you're water signs, but many of you won't. And so this is something that you're going to have to really think about. Like, where am I potentially resisting um, a promotion or a career opportunity? Like, what kind of things do I say that maybe um, make it so that, you know, these things can't flow into my life? A good example, a common one, is money is the root of all evil. Well, if you're a good person, then you're not aligned with more money, right? So change that. Or, you know... Uh, nice guys finish last might be something where, you know, the guy who's like more cutthroat in business is the one who gets promoted. Um, that might be your belief system and therefore you're not necessarily allowing blessings to flow in for you, okay? 
Now, as far as your love life goes, we're going to look at singles first. And it says, um, this is not a time to go back towards exes. And you probably have a very keen awareness of that. Not that like all exes are villains. Some of them are not. However, um, if it didn't work before, there is a reason for that. They're saying like, you know, it's easier now maybe to see why certain relationships, even if they were good for a while, uh, were hopeless, why they weren't going to go forward, and we need to just kind of leave them in the past. You might not be seeing certain situations um, as favorable as you used to. Sometimes we look backwards with rose-colored glasses. And so they say, but that's okay. You can still infuse love into like the memories, or you can still communicate lovingly if you still need to talk to an ex. But any ideas of rekindling, you should table. They say this is how you um, kind of achieve and maintain emotional balance. But what is coming for you? Because we don't want to talk about the past. They say, you know, potential love opportunities might be either um, kind of pushing you towards greater career and money fulfillment. Um, they could present opportunities or give you a great idea about something for your own business or a business that you would launch or a different way to do something that saves you time and energy or generates more income. Um, they might also, sometimes that card has to do with moving. So they might say, hey, you know, my friend has this really awesome apartment that they're subletting and it's like your dream apartment and, you know, it's like a way cheaper place to live than you're already living and you love it more, that kind of a thing. Um, so... Basically, they're saying like the details are not so important in regards to your love life for this month if you are single, which is annoying because that's the reason why a lot of you watch this um, reading is to find out what's coming for love. Like, am I going to meet my soulmate? But basically what they're saying is like the biggest thing for single cancers is that you need to make sure you're not going backwards, that you're not looking at the past or you're not picking the same types. They're saying like there's no need to go back and like you know, hash things out and discuss them and overanalyze them or even feel bitchy about it. But they say, like, intuitively, you know, this is kind of a month where um, you're going to want to talk to your spirit guides, God, angels, the law, whatever, the universe, about what it is that you desire and what you've learned. And then lovingly just kind of be patient and waiting. Like, an affirmation you could say is the perfect person, um, for my self is coming in the perfect time in the perfect way and then not having anxiety about it. They're saying um, first and foremost, like you need to really show more love to yourself. You need to speak to yourself the way that you would speak to, you know, somebody you had a crush on. Like, girl, you look cute today, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Don't beat yourself up this month. They're saying, like, these are things that you need to cut out before the right person flows through for you. Now, for those of you who are coupled, they're saying um, you have a little bit of fear, a little bit of, I don't know, like kind of anxiety, like something's going to go wrong in the relationship. But they say, actually, everything's pretty cool, pretty calm, pretty balanced. They say what you really fear is that um, you can't control the trajectory of a relationship and you can't control the other person. Not that you necessarily want to, but it's scary that we can't, that we don't have that ability. And so you're quite vulnerable when you're in a relationship with somebody else. So, I mean, you know, at times it's very comforting, but at other times it's not easy. And I think that your partner's speed uh, in regards to something pertaining to your relationship, whether it's how fast it's moving along, whether it's... Um, how fast you're starting to like really feel deeper, truer feelings for your partner, uh, whatever, or even, you know, how quickly they get off the couch and take out the garbage, whatever it is, something's going on here where your partner's delays and your partner's like kind of slowness at something is driving you a little bit bonkers, but they're like, don't, don't internalize that too much. It's not even about you. We just can't control them. And your relationship is very stable. You are together. You're a pair. Remember that. It's fine. Um, as far as 
those of you who are in non-defined relationships, maybe polyamorous, maybe it's not um, official, you're back and forth, they say this might be a challenging month for you. It could be a little bit disappointing. There might be some um, pain associated to any kind of third-party relationships, maybe some cheating, um, stuff like that. But what they're saying is, you know, if there is pain and disappointment, it's just because you're not with the right person. And so that's all it is. It's just an opportunity for you to say, mm, not for me, moving on. That's really, so it's not really a bad thing. Like it fucking feels bad. You know, it's like, it's not one knife in the heart. It's three knives in the heart, right? Or if we, I don't know where that card is in the deck here, but one of the people, one of the little birds, there's two birds on it. There, one bird is sitting on a heart that has one dagger and the other one has two. So somebody's going to suffer a little bit more than the other party here or the other parties here. Uh, but the whole point is, is like, yes, that pain is real. Yes, it sucks. Yes. And it doesn't have to be something massive like cheating. It could be something like they didn't show up on time for dinner or you didn't get to go on a trip that you wanted to go on or they didn't call you back or, you know, whatever. It can be something minor. But the point is, is like if you're feeling a good amount of disappointment or frustration this month, it's just that you're with the wrong person. Um, so anything else that undefines need to know? And they go also, don't internalize it. It's just not that deep this month, Cancers. Like this is a month for fun, for like fancy free, like, you know, non-emotional attachment and depth, just kind of going with the flow and doing, you know, things that are fun and light and exciting and not overanalyzing that emotionally. So as far as the affirmation goes for all cancers for the month of April, this is what I get. There's ample time and opportunity for creative expression in whatever area I choose. Totally true when we're in that energy of like going out, having a good time, being around people, trying new things, exciting adventures. Uh, maybe there, maybe you always wanted to learn how to make pottery, take a class. Maybe, um, you know, creative expression in whatever area you choose. Maybe you want to go out and just like dance like a maniac one night or every night. <laughs> it's got that, that kind of month. They say, you know, we've got to really focus on what's fun because it's going to raise our vibration of happiness and joy, which only helps us to attract the things we want a lot more easily and quickly and they're saying you know this is also why we're telling you to be more loving to yourself as well they're like we promise this will work it sounds like bullshit but it'll work so that's april love and late thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it i really appreciate your support if you are interested in other videos click here if you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!